And good day, everybody. Green Newfie Channel continues. We are out in the greenhouse today. So I had a couple people uh, ping me and ask if we can take a look at what's going on in the greenhouse this time of year. So this is going to be our sprouts video. Very excited about sprouts and microgreens. That's going to be two of my all-time favorites. Can't wait to get into them. So I'm almost done with sprouts. Microgreens are coming next. So we got a nice bright sunny day in Utah. Um, out in the greenhouse, a lot of stuff starting off. I won't take long at this because I know you're all busy. Uh, cilantro growing here. We'll have enough cilantro to feed the whole universe. Uh, it's all oregano right there. Uh, what do we got? So our trees are, so we have box trees. We put them out in the summer and keep them in the greenhouse all winter. That's an orange there getting ready to turn orange. And this is another mandarin tree. You can see the little tiny, uh, buds. Wait, where's the camera on this thing? Oh, sorry. I'm pointing in the wrong direction. Here we go. Little, little buds growing there uh those are uh limes up there so we can come out and pick our limes whenever we want uh this is a an orange tree right here that's starting to get some sprouts on it um or blossoms on it uh, this is a lemon tree this thing is growing like a gangbusters it's blossoming and it's got lemons going at the exact same time uh, avocado tree there uh, i probably have about 250 tomato plants going at various stages right now some shard red shard um, a couple of trays, lettuce, some beets, some uh, shard there as well, more tomatoes, uh, some oregano, some celery. These are all new starts for cucumbers. They're going to be a crap ton of cucumbers eventually. Uh, more oregano. So anyway, basically today is going to be the day to chat about sprouts. Uh, and I'm going to put some on. I'm going to do a day-by-day -day sort of step-by-step -step, uh, process through it all, and we can sort of grow them all together if you want. Um, sprouts <coughs> are one of my favorites. I'm, I'm most excited about sprouts and microgreens. Those are the two things that I do the most, and pound per pound is what we're all going to do to get nutrition in us as best we can. It's so simple that even I can do it. So sprouts, I sprout anything that I can get my hands on. Um, my favorite are mung beans and lentils, I, uh, I, I, I'm a, but you can sprout nuts, you can sprout seeds and grains and uh, everything. Uh, beans, quinoa is spectacular. Quinoa is a, a fantastic thing to sprout. Um, and, and really all you need is a jar and some, some space in your, in your cupboard. So the good thing with sprouts is that it's, it's concentrated enzymes. And concentrated vitamins, right? And they're very easily to digest. Raw enzymes, a hundred times what you're going to get in the actual vegetables themselves if you sprout the seeds and you eat them. Um, so they're, they're, a lot of people have, have gut issues around grains and seeds and all that kind of stuff. And that, that's nature 101, right? Like what happens is, is that there are these enzyme inhibitors on the seeds that really make them not pleasant to digest. And it, a lot of people, when they eat, uh, you know, grains you know the they're meant not they're meant pretty much not to be eaten right unless they're sprouted because in nature if a seed falls on the ground and an animal eats it before it can germinate and sprout and turn into a tree then they lose right so um these these um, natural enzyme inhibitors it's phytic acid i think it's called it I, i'm not entirely sure i think it's phytic acid but phytic acid actually makes it not pleasant on the stomach makes you gassy and gives you all kinds of issues same same problem that a lot of people have that have got gluten sensitivity and whatnot. So um, when you soak the seeds overnight, it breaks down that so that it, you don't have the <clears throat> you don't have the um, the phytic acid. It makes them much more uh, able to be absorbed by the body. So they have every kind of every kind of vitamin. I mean, you you can go online, you can Google it. every kind of you know uh, like quinoa has got all nine of the essential um, amino amino acids, which is rare to find. Uh, so, you know, the, I think the potassium is good for your blood pressure. Um, they're, it's good for metabolism. It purifies the blood. The protein in them is just, they're very easy to digest and they pound per pound, you get a lot of nutritional value, um, in, in eating them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I, I'm going to look and see whatever I have in the house and then I'm just going to start uh, sprouting it. We're basically going to put them all in a jar. We're going to fill it up with water and we're going to let it sit for a, for a night. And then the next day, we're going to rinse the jar, and we're going to let it sit back there again. Then we're going to rinse the jar, and let it sit back there again. And then after a couple of days, we'll have the whole thing uh, done. The sprouts will have a big, long tail on them, and then you just get them in you however you can. I love taking avocados 
and mushing them all up into avocados and just throwing it on a salad. Uh, some of them are, are durable enough to cook with. You can put them in stir fries, but just make, you know, just have sprout salad if you want or throw them on a salad. Just jam them in. You can put them in a blender and blend them up. It's, I can't, don't even know where to look. Oh, here we go. Um, put them in a blender and blend them up. Just drive them in you. So let's get to it. Okay, everybody, so here we go. Time to make some sprouts. So we've already talked about the nutritional benefits of sprouts. Now it's actually going to be making them. So as I mentioned before, uh, off just off of hand, I have um, mung beans. You can buy these anywhere. Um, little tiny green mung beans. They're hard as a rock, but when you sprout them, they soften up and you can eat the whole thing. They're really delicious. The other is uh, lentils. I had some lentils here. Uh, but again, you can use almonds, you can use um, garbanzo beans, you know, dried garbanzo beans, just about anything at all. So um, you can use anything. You can use, if you've got an old bottle of it, or an old jar of any kind lying around, uh, you can use one of these. You can use the old bell, uh, you can use the old bell, well, here's a, here's a great big huge bell jar. Are we all familiar, this is um, some uh, fermented cabbage and whatnot. We're going to get to that at some point as well, but... The smaller version of this that has the screw off top, you can use one of those. I thought I had one. Oh yeah, here we go. So you know, like a little, like a little puppy like that, if we want. That has a lid that would go on top of it with one of these push out things. You just get rid of that and you put the lid on, and then you can use a piece of um, mesh bag. It's it's better to actually use. So I've got a couple of them that I bought with actual mesh uh, in the cover. Um, if you go to any health food store, you can uh, get these jars and they come with an actual uh, mesh top as well. So you can just screw that on. So what we'll do is, you, you have to be careful because when these things start to sprout, they expand. So we'll pour in, there's no, there's no rhyme or reason, pour in a fair few like that just to, uh, oops, that's not the cover, there we go. And then we'll throw, we'll throw in the, the doll right on top of it, the lentils. Um, you want to make sure that whatever you do, you don't have it up more than halfway of the water. So these guys are all going to settle down to the bottom. I'll spin it around a little bit. I'll put the top on, not that it makes any difference because we're not going to tip it over. And then basically you just take it and you hide it in a cupboard somewhere in the dark overnight. What we'll do is we'll check it tomorrow. Tomorrow um, it, they'll... The enzyme that keeps them from sprouting will be broken down. And what we're going to do then is we're going to take them, we're going to drain it, and then we're going to put it on an angle so that the water drains off. And then once the water drains off, uh, we're going to put it back in there for a day. We're going to rinse it every day. And in, th in two or three days, we're going to see a little tail pop out. Once the tail pops and starts to grow, we're going to take it out of, um, out of that environment then. We're going to put it in the fridge. And then you can find these containers, um, which are containers for vegetables. Um, when vegetables, um, when that vegetables start to go bad, they start releasing uh, gases, <clears throat> and these things help um, soak up the gases. So we'll put them in here, put them in the fridge, and then you've got about a week or so to really uh, to eat them. Uh, but phenomenal way for getting live raw enzymes in your body, and everybody needs to have these things on at home. Hey now, okay, here we are. So sprouts day two. So as you can see, the water looks a little cloudy, but the first thing you notice is, is that where the level was, was down to about here before, now it's almost doubled in size. So the seeds are getting, or the beans are getting, doll are getting pretty much twice the size. Um, so what we're gonna do is we'll pour them out real fast. You wanna get out as much water as you can and even give them another rinse. So we give them a second rinse, get all the gunky water out and pour it out. And really get everything out as best you can. Because when you put it back in the cupboard now, it's gonna sit for a day or two. So what I do is I take a little sandwich tray and I put it down on an angle so that the water can drain out and it'll actually drain out into the sandwich tray. And then just make a little bit of room in whatever cupboard you're going to use and close the door. So that is day number two. Okay, here we are, day two. 
So day two, as you can see, actually technically it's day three. As you can see, every seed, mung and lentil, has got a little baby tail hanging off of it. This is exactly what it's supposed to look like. And I just rinsed it out and I drained it off and I'm going to put it back in the plastic container and then back in the cupboard for another day and we'll check in on it tomorrow. All right, here we go. Sprouts day four. So we are going to haul these guys out. Look at that. That is exactly what they're supposed to look like. A thing of beauty. So all those little rock hard seeds that we had now, they are all soft. They will melt in your mouth. They're delicious. They all have a tail on them about an inch long. And now it's just a question of driving them in you. So what I do at this point is I just take them out of the bottle. <clears throat> and I have a bowl here. I can just dump them in there. There we go. And those guys, I mean, you can literally just sit down to start chowing down on them. I'll give them one more rinse just to make sure they're clean. But these are doll and mung beans, and you can take those and eat them in any way, shape, or form. You can throw them in a blender and blend them up. You can put them on a salad. You can mix it up with avocado. You can do whatever you want. Um, <clears throat> it, it is absolutely one of the healthy, healthiest things you can shove in you. I, I, you know, you can go online and you can Google all the, the the vitamins they have. Each one has a different set of vitamins, and do you need to know it? No, as long as you eat the bloody things, that's all. Um, so. You can see it's not a complicated process. There's no reason everybody in the world doesn't have a bottle of these guys growing in their pantry at any one time. When you start running down, throw it on again, three or four days, and they're all ready to go. So all I can tell you is you just got to try them. They're absolutely delicious. And again, if you're going to start turning your health around, throw in um, uh, sprouts in your diet every single day. If you can get a, you know, even a half a cup or a cup of them in you, um, it, it's just as good as, as good as you can get. So this is the kind of stuff I want to talk about. Next, we're going to probably do the video on microgreens. And that's going to be a long, long video uh, with many, many moving parts to it. But this here is a no-brainer. If you really want to have good nutritional health and you don't have access to live raw enzyme foods, this is something that everybody on the planet can be doing. And any kind of bean, seed, anything you can sprout. Nuts, they all sprout, they all grow a tail, it's all raw live enzymes, and they make a spe you know, they're absolutely spectacular for you. So remember, long may your big jib draw, but it's gonna draw a whole lot further and longer if you give it the nutrition it needs. Enjoy everybody.